So as you can see, uh -uh, nothing coming out. Tried the shower. Nothing coming out. Hello, I'm Adam. I'm Lauren. And this is Shanti. We all live together on board our 59 foot narrowboat. Join us as we show you what our day to day life is like living on the British waterway. So it's about midnight on the Sunday night. We've just got back from the festival and it's kind of put everything about the boat to the back of our minds and then got back and obviously remembered about the water. But I'd forgot, so I went to the toilet and I went to wash my hands. And water came out. So somehow it's like it's magically fixed itself, but it's really late. So we're going to go to bed and have a look in the morning, but it could be great news. Good morning. We're back on the boat. After the festival, we had such a lovely time seeing friends and... Lauren's feeling a little bit poorly this morning. Uh, yes, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So she's just going to rest today. Uh, but I have a lovely ginger, ginger, ginger tea. Ginger tea with some lemon and some honey. And I'm going to try and look after you. We're going to eat all the good foods. We're going to eat all the fruits, all the vegetables today. But yeah, the festival was so lovely. I gave a talk, which I hadn't done in ages, that was really nice. And we just like made music with friends and hung out. It was really, really cool. As you've probably seen, just before we left, our water pump broke, so we had no water. And then when we got back last night, the water was working. Kind, kind of working. kind of working. So we can already hear this morning that the pump, it's just, it's on its way out, even if it's kind of surviving That's and good. it's leaking under the sink. So the plan That's today is still to replace the pump. We're hoping that there's like a valve that will turn the water off, but it's under the front of the boat, <clears> which <throat> is... Well, there was a there's a valve right next to uh, the pump, which basically stops the water from coming in from the, the tank, the water tank, but it's seized on, like you, it's just impossible to turn it and um, stop that water. So we're hoping We've never seen it before, but we're hoping that there's one right where the water comes in. That is under this front cupboard, which I'll show you soon when I go under there. And it's got so much storage under there and it's very low yeah, and dark. Crap. A lot of spiders. <laughs> but we did want to clear wet. this cupboard out anyway. So it's kind of, we're seeing it as a blessing in disguise. So it's time to go under the big cupboard, under the bow, and try and find the magical valve to turn all the water off. We don't actually know if there is a valve under there and it's going to be a process to get there. Shanti's job is to smell it out, isn't it? Yeah, Shanti, you're going to smell out the valve. Shanti, where's the valve? 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 You see it? Where is it? Let's see how this goes. I'm going to be moving this box and behind, you see, this mystical cupboard. I've cleared the way to the magical cupboard. Actually needs some TLC done to it. But as you can see from the beginning, it is full of things right to the front, right to the back. I've got a head torch on. There's boxes and boxes of I can't even remember what now. But we believe the valve is going to be somewhere right at the back. Let's do it. You can see the valve. Oh my god, yes. You can see the valve. Oh, there's, two, there's two valves. Okay, cool. Brilliant. That's excellent. Here, two valves. It's so big in there, isn't it? And then these water pipes are what go through to the kitchen and the bathroom. So we're needing to turn these off to replace the pump to make sure that water doesn't go everywhere when we take the first pump out. Still some excess wood and stuff, but now I'm actually gonna have to climb in there because I don't know if you can tell distance wise, but they're quite far away. <laughs> And it's quite low. So let's see. 
Right, <laughs> I'm in the cupboard. Half in, half out. That's the aim. And I'm taking you with me. <laughs> I've arrived at the two valves. It looks to me like one isn't connected to anything, but I'm gonna double check. And this is the one I'm turning off. So now we'll check that no water's coming through and it'll be time to replace the pump. <sighs> yeah, success. So Lauren is still feeling a bit poorly. So I'm about to make her a super juice. Grapefruit, apple, spinach, lemon juice, celery and ginger. When we moved on to the boat, we had to kind of choose what electricals we wanted. Well, we could have had more, but we wanted to be uh, caught conscious of how much power we're using. So we had a toaster at the beginning, but then we decided to get rid of it because we realized we could kind of make toast in the oven. Um, but a juicer was something that we both really wanted. So I'm just kind of taking off all the peel of the grapefruit. And you don't really have to cut the veg up that small for this juicer, which is good. Didn't realize peeling a grapefruit was actually this easy. Now for my favorite part. We also add one small spoon of these daily super greens that a friend of ours makes. It's got barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. Don't actually know what they are but he's like really into his nutrition and herbs so we kind of just trust him but i take these whenever i feel poorly and it seems to work really well ready to feel better <laughs> and your cute little fox hat thank you that should do the trick you enjoy mm -hmm. how does it taste really good So we've had our juice, it's now time to try and remove the old water pump. My juice has given Lauren all this energy, <laughs> just under the sink. We didn't have a spanner big enough, so a kind person in the boat behind lent us a big spanner. So there's this blue thing here that needs to be pulled down. It seems to have been, it's a bit seized, I don't know what all this red stuff is, probably rust. Um, and also need to take this off because this is part of the filter um, so I'm going to clean that out. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more dirty to be honest. Um, it's best to give it a clean anyway. I guess this is what stops any bits going get through to the water system like any rusty bits. This is the removed pump. You see it's like rust a lot of rust it's probably got into the pump and that's probably what's caused it to have this leak so we're going to put another one on they are quite expensive so i want to avoid from having to replace it so soon and the only way to do that is to clean out our water system which we'll have to wait until spring <laughs> Now we can't share with you how much the new water pump costs because luckily there was this spare one under the sink, this new one. I did look it up though. I think that costs about, I want to say, I want to say 200 pounds. I think it's 150, 200 pounds. I'll have a little Google to check, see if that's correct. And we're not sure why there was a spare one. Maybe they had problems with it in the past, but we've been on here two years, so yeah very grateful that there was this spare one so it looks like this is the same one i think basically all you do is put the wire okay, the new wire in into that obviously cut it off and make it look neater and then get some pliers and squeeze it shut to hold on to it
so I just stripped that back a little bit so we've got more exposed um, I'm not really sure what that is but metal <laughs> some kind of metal and what this is also gonna do instead of using the pliers to fit this piece on I believe this end bit is for these because they're color coordinated and in the pack I've got red blue and yellow so I reckon this blue one is going to squish it just the right amount um, for it to squeeze on. <laughs> Adam's going back under to turn the valve on. And um, so we're gonna just check now to see if there is any leaks, if it's um, all secure, and then we'll turn the pump on and test it. Back under in my favorite new cupboard and Lauren's giving me the go ahead to turn it back on and then we just wait to hear if she screams and says turn it off. I, I can hear water coming through and so far it looks like there are no leaks. What? a long productive but successful day and we're starting the day how we ended it in our dressing gowns <laughs> with a cup of tea on the sofa still bunged up she's still bunged up you feeling any better uh no <laughs> <laughs> not feeling any better in terms of health but we have water yeah and it feels so good because this was one of the jobs we thought maybe we'll just call in a professional like we always try and do stuff ourselves, but it felt a bit daunting, I think, and something we really wanted to get right. But we persevered. It took how many hours? Four. It took four hours. Which Might have ridiculous. taken a professional 30 minutes. minutes. We fixed the pump and everything. Um, and then we discovered that it was actually leaking. So we kept taking it apart and put it back together. But to, to do that, we had to turn the system off again. So we had to crawl underneath the front, turn it off switch it off and then try again and then every time we had to trial and error it we had to crawl underneath the front so i think that's what took so so much time but no i feel really good about it now it's come to the end of the day and it's all worked i think four hours of commitment and we did it feel good <sighs> <laughs> she's getting rained on by acorn so she's protecting herself 